Hello everybody and welcome back to another Grain Man Travels adventure and today we're on a very special Grain Man Travels episode because this is actually going to be a bit of a long term map review of a map that I've been actually playing on for about 43 hours in a multiplayer game with another three FS22 players and um, I'm enjoying it that much that to be honest with you I thought this map really needed to be shown off to my audience so hopefully you don't mind. This is actually going to be only a PC only map because it's not available on ModHub at all and it is only officially available off the modders website which is the guys called uh, Edo Mod, and he has released a few maps into ModHub. Uh, I think last week he released his Fiat Tractor etc. So um, yeah it's um, in my opinion, I think this is the best Farming Simulator 22 map pretty much to date. It is, in my opinion, simply superb. Everything is in unbelievably well done. The texturing, the lighting, the field shapes, field sizes, the map layout, the train, all of it is just unbelievable. So um, we do have a little bit of information that's um, actually come from the... Uh, modder when it comes through his map.xml so I'll read through that in a second I will just say that this map tour is probably going to be a little bit longer than my normal ones mainly because there's so much to run through so there will be chapter markers so feel free to skip through so here we go the Italia Emilia extension map is the result of almost three years of work the first part was released on the 28th of the 3rd 2021 for Farming Simulator 19 and now the map has been expanded for Farming Simulator 22 with this version. The project required a vast amount of work, almost 1500 hours in total, as we wanted to challenge ourselves to design every building and every detail from scratch. So that includes every street, every railway, every building, and every fence is custom made in-house by um, Edo Mod and his team. The goal was to give the player a completely new game experience, both in terms of graphics and, as we can see later, gameplay. As with any good game map, there is a backstory for every player to choose, and Italia Emilia is no exception. We wanted to create an infinite number of branches for the player to take to create a story which is both engaging but infinitely unique. The map centres heavily around a career and how the interactions with the map's buildings, farms, animal husbandries and other interactive objects. As an example, the player wishes if the, if the player wishes to start a game without any funds and without farmland, after completing just a few missions, the player will be able to buy the railway depot for 8,000 euros, or go bigger with the new sheds farm for 19,000 with the bare necessities for gameplay, a couple of sheds, a small grain silo, a sleep trigger and a few smaller details which are useful to the player. With this, the story begins. The player progresses and buys more land, more buildings, and invests in warehouses, factories, and opens the door to animal husbandry. All of this while watching the financial situation, making wise investments to generate maximum income. The player who wants a head start, your career begins uh, with the Azure Farmhouse, one of the smaller and easier farms to manage with just a chicken coop to pave the way into animal husbandry, Work begins here, buy up animal husbandries, buy into silage trenches and huts and expand and climb into new territory. The climb is not only metaphorical, but also a very real reminder that the climb to the goal reaching the farm at the top of the highest point of the map has started. The climb to the map at the top there. So that's actually one of the biggest farms on the, on the map. This elaborate farm is home to pastures for every type of animal. There's also 2.5 hectares of included farmland. There it is. There's five hectares of um, custom made, entirely reworked vineyards and a wine cellar to turn your grapes into the finest wines at the cost of over 5.2 million euros. Now, I'm quite lucky in my multiplayer game to actually have this farm here and all these vineyards. So, um, yeah, um, they do take a lot of work, but it's quite enjoyable on this map because it actually works. It's an Italian map, the vineyards are right, and it just works for me. So, so again, the goal of Italia Emilia Extension was to give the player a completely new game experience, following the Italian style and following the infinitely varied avenues. 
It allows its players to have make their imagination and write their own story of creating a successful farm. So on uh, Edo Mod's um, website, it's got a few bits and bobs and a bit of information about the main areas of the uh, map. So it says the Italia Emilia extension features. It's PC only because it is quite a large download. It's like 1.6 gig. It's got multi-angle tilling terrain. So obviously things like plowing and tilling and making furrows actually use multi-angle so it looks a lot better. There's 80 fields. So there's so here's something for everyone. There's, there's hilly ones, there's flat ones, square and curvy. There's five grass fields, so five meadows. There's tight 10 vineyard fields. Quite a lot of them are around the top of the map up the mountain. There is five stables, so five farms with stables. So it works really well. There's also three farms without stables. There's also 10 equipped areas. So there's one up here actually. There's like a silage clamp area over here. There's a shed over here with a couple of silos, etc. So again, not big, but pretty good. And I think that one's 19 grand to buy. This one's probably about 20, I think, from playing this map. There's also quite a lot of unique production chains, which we will run through. There is a couple of required mods needed for this though. So there's actually a few that's on Mod Hub, and there's a few that you need to buy it from other um, download sources, which you can get from um, Edo Mods. They link from Edo Mods main page. So they are the FS22 Amazoni D9 by Vertex Design. There's actually the um, FS22 Chipper, which is um, especially for this map. It's made by Edo Mod. There's also the Crane. For this as well called fs22 crane italia Emilia. these are the fiat x70 series by smi modding team is the uh, fs22 multi-fruit harvester pack by tn4799 then there's also the new holland tx32 by giants and finally there's the vineyard pack italia by also by smi modding now a couple of those from SMI modding I believe are behind a paywall but they're pretty good mods to be honest with you so maybe give them a euro or a couple and I think it's definitely worth it. I think what we'll do is we'll get our feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at uh, our starting equipment and our starting farm. As you can see we don't start with an awful lot but we do start with some nice bits and bobs just to get uh, ourselves kicked on. So we start with the Fiat 670 pumped tractor this is the Fiat X70 mod that you do actually need as a required mod for this, this game. It's got 100 horsepower, it does 20 miles an hour, it actually comes with 50% damage. You also have the New Holland TX32 by Giants, again one of the required mods, um, and it does a couple of the uh, custom crops as well, but uh, that's a nice thing to see. We then get the Welger DK115 trailer. A dolly trailer so uh, god help me on that one we get the uh, nice tx32 header which is a four meter header for the uh, tx32 combine we get the rab eg3 slash nine cultivator two and a half meter we get the very nice amazoni d9 3000 cedar and this again is one of the required mods it's the amazoni d9 mod and it'll also be modified so it can do the other two custom crops and it uh, works at three meter capacity. We've got the Hardy Mega 1200 litre sprayer. And we also have the uh, header trailer as well. So quite a few nice bits and bobs just to get started. So that's really good to see. So our farmyard is pretty much here. Now, first off, I'm not gonna run around like an absolute madman on this because I think we just need to look at some of the texturing of the walls, the floor, the vegetation, the trees, and just, yeah, just take in some of the amazing work that Edo Mod and his team have actually done on this uh, map. It's just the level of detail, in my opinion, I think it really does knock any other map that's available, even probably not even on, F on Mod Hub, just out the window. This is superb. So it's a very small starting farm though. So you start with this shed here, You've got a fuel tank there, We've got a silo here actually as well to put your grain in. There's your nice Fiat tractor, look at that. Very nicely modelled that actually. Very, very nice. It's nice to see the uh, Fiat tractor on an Italian uh, map. This is how you fill your silo. 
So it's actually got the, uh, the tubes here that then blow it into the silo down there. You see it goes into here and you have a point over here, which then that is where you have the machine, you have the pump there that then pumps it out. It's even plugged in the wall. It's even got the the uh, proper conduit there as well, which protects the cables to feed it. I mean, just that uh, that amount of detail on this map, I think just, yeah, makes it, makes the game just another level. Just everything has been thought of. You've got all these nice areas here. You've got the, the water's just really well done as well. It's just, yeah, I think it is by far just a, a map that's bowled me over from the start, from the first time I've been on it, to be honest with you. So we have a quick look at what we actually start with then. So we actually start here, which is Farm C, and it actually tells you on the right hand side of the PDA all the different farms that you've got and also what they come with. So you've got the the first farm comes with uh, a grain storage silo, a water tank, and a sleeping place. We're in the uh, Mazaria Azura, which is the Azura farm. You've got a grain storage silo, sleeping place, water tank, seed and fertilizer storage silo, bunker, chicken coop, and 1.73 hectares of land, which is field one, just there. So, and you've got all the different ones, all the way to getting to H, which is here. So if you went back to there, H is the top, like God mode kind of farm on this map. So yeah, really, really impressive. And I really like the idea of Edemod putting all the information about the farms down the right hand side and the forestry areas and the detached stables. I think that's amazing. It's always good to see this as well. He's put down about please download this from that website only. So if you are going to look into actually making or making a series or even just playing on this map, please go ahead and go to um, that direct link that will be in my um, description on this video and download this map and, and give Edomod some money for it in my opinion because I actually think this map is worth paying um, $5 or €5 Euros for in my opinion. So that's where we start and see what we'll do. So a quick look at our crop calendar so it has been altered but what you'll see you've got a couple of different things as well so the grapes have been changed and um, so there's now grapes and white grapes now the grapes are actually red grapes and white grapes but they haven't been labeled that but on your production for your winery you can produce red wine and white wine there's two other custom crops on the map that's rye and spelt and they've obviously also got their own custom planting and harvesting season but everything else is pretty standard the weather i think has also been altered and changed because i haven't played on this for quite a while the weather does seem to be more european and continental or mediterranean compared to a normal british map so that's really nice when it comes to prices and also all of the different types of uh, custom productions and custom fruits. There's quite a lot. The one thing I will say, the difference between the single player and the multiplayer mainly is the train on the multiplayer has been disabled, but it is uh, enabled on the single player like this one. So there is quite a few places to sell. So like three or four, a couple there. If we go down, pretty much all the things that are part of the base game are accepted, plus a few others. So if we look here, we've got the the white grapes, the spelt, the rye. The sheep on the map produce milk as well as wool. Now, I didn't realize that until I was playing, but I was producing wool and then I also can produce milk at the same time. So that's really good. You can then take your sheep's milk and the normal milk and take it, take it to the dairy, which will then create sheep's milk cheese. You can also, this is a really nice feature. The grape and the olive productions actually produce waste so they actually can be sold at the BGA you then have to buy your empty wine barrels for creating your red wine and your white wine cask so that's good you need firewood for your bakery you need metal components to then be able to make um, I think you can buy a barrel factory so you can make your own empty wine barrels but you need metal components for the bands and you need wood then obviously or planks for the barrels themselves there's a pasta factory 
but there's a normal pasta and fresh pasta. Slightly different recipes on that one. There's also pasteurized milk. So you can take your milk from your normal cows and you can then pasteurize it and sell it on a slightly higher price. So really, really impressive. So you start with the MA chicken coop when you first start as a um, normal start from scratch farmer or easy mode farmer like we are here but these loads and loads of different coops and animal enclosures on every farm most farms i will check this at the top actually most farms if we have a quick look and zoom in do start with uh d comes with pigsty sheep fold chicken coop etc that comes with as you can see actually yeah you've got yeah, pigsty sheepfold diesel tank most of them do come with horse stables chicken coop most of them do all come with some kind of animal enclosure or multiple so the pigsties um, produce manure the chickens produce manure as well you can put straw in so that's pretty good so yeah um, <laughs> everything has been customized the animals are custom the one thing you will find if you're trying to put some uh, animal pens down from either the base game or from a mod sometimes they don't always work because edo mod has made some big changes to the way the animals work so just something to be aware of contracts wise they're really healthy they're quite good pricing they're quite nicely spaced out and to be honest with you um, they do do a good job of keeping you getting a, a good supply of money in so that's really good you don't start with any production chains at a start when you start in new farmer mode but there's lots of custom productions which we will run through in this map tool so i think it's about it if we have a quick look at the actual pdm field layout but yeah there's a lot of fields there's a lot of roads, lots of tracks, lots of different ways to get around. There's loads of nice places. One of my favorite parts of this map is here, which is a, like a switchback that goes up the mountainside. There's loads of trails between different farms. You can see them here, through the fields, around here, down here. Main roads run there, around the outside. There's tracks all the way around, loads of different bridges, loads of nice modeling over here with the uh, bridges and this area where the train is there's um, lots of water sources as well there's also a water place to get water that costs you i think it's one pound or dollar or euro a litre from there that's like a fountain but that's really good loads of different places to drop off for your train as well it's another farm here that's got loads and loads of vineyards and also got the wine factory there as well so that's good but generally i mean the pda as you can see loads of different shaped fields loads of unusual um lay layouts as well which i think is absolutely fantastic the train is really impressive on the single player as well it's a custom train so yeah absolutely incredible this this map is really is so if we have a quick look now i think what we'll do is have a bit of a drive so here we go yes cabless tractor it's been a long long time since i've driven a cabless tractor let's zoom out a little bit look at the look at the texturing and the detail on the roof of that as well though it's absolutely incredible even though i've played on this map for 42 hours I st every time i go on it i still find new things to look at new things to find yeah it's just incredible it really is what we'll do i think we'll have a quick look up here because this is where the trains up here and you can just see the vista that that you can play on i mean the i i do re always go on quite a lot about undulations and contouring on maps because i don't like flat maps but i think this one just yeah the mod has got it right really has absolutely incredible the traffic is as mad as all traffic on uh, farming simulator 22 maps um you, what you can do though if you get it set behind quite a slow worker you can get the traffic to bunch up quite a bit, which is quite fun. We're coming up here actually to a place where we can dump to where uh, we can dump our grain, etc., onto the train. But you can just see that it's absolutely incredible. 
And as you can see, you can see why in the description it mentioned things about the the map having areas that are hilly, or flat, etc. So all different terrain. So yeah, they, this map does cater for everybody. Oh, quite a lot of traffic coming now. But as you can see, the, the texturing of even just the rock faces, the walls of the of the side of the road, the way the roads are constructed, the way the roads are built into the hillsides, just everything about this map, in my opinion, just cries out custom incredible, to be honest with you. It really, really is. Got a really nice bridge there for the train that can split. Coming down a small switchback here. Nothing like the one that's my favourite, which I will travel to in a bit but we can uh, go under the railway bridge go through that railway bridge there whoops but as you can see lots and lots of different um, architecture but it's just so well done and I keep driving on the wrong side of the road so that's good but because this track only does 20 mile an hour doing quite well I haven't crashed yet so that's good um, there's speed bumps everywhere as well lots of roundabouts there's a couple of new maps that I think Edemod is working on as well. Um, Lands of Italy, I think there's a German map as well. I'm not 100% certain what that's called, but I'm looking forward to those coming out. What we'll do, I think we'll drive up here. Let's go up this track a little bit. And then we'll have a quick look at some of the productions and have a bit of a travel round those. But as you can see, loads of different ways of getting around the map as well, not just the main roads. And there's lots of different main roads that run around the map. Not all the all the different uh, field shapes and sizes and the just the hilliness of the terrain and just look at the look at the texturing on that wall is incredible in my opinion the amount of time and effort that's gone into this is just incredible even some of the customized plants as well there is a, a 4k texture pack for this map that's coming out at some point i think it has been released before but then it's it's been pulled by edemod so I'm waiting for that one to come out because I'll be playing with that when it does come out. So I think what we'll do though, have a quick look at the productions on the map. So we start in this top corner. So we've got the rent train trigger. We've then got the goods yard station, animal dealer, the tuba loading hopper, which is mainly for your um, potatoes, the Gregano mill, which is like it's a, it's a production and a drop-off point there. We've got the Matisse Dairy. Here we've got the Eastern Railway Interchange Silo. So when we went down this road, there was those two drop-off points, and this is where you can then load the train. If we come down here, we've got our Silo MA, which is our, our where we start, our house, the water tank, an MA storage yard, and a rent train. So just here you've got a place where you can actually rent the train and also store your uh, grain and wares. We've got the sawmill and carpentry here. We've got the wood chip sales point for the train. Wood chip sales point normal. Another rent train trigger. Debris crusher. Seed loading station. Train loading station. Rent the train and the lime station. Here's the uh, residual solid digestive disposal. So there's a few, uh, quite a few drop off points in the BGA here actually. What I'll do, I'm going to run around these and then I'm going to pick out some of the ones that I think need to be shown off. We've got a gas station there, we've then got the vehicle shop there, rent train trigger here again, wine production plant, and the oil mill. So that's all built into one place. Got another farm here. So everyone that's got a page B, F, any letters are ones that you can buy. M, that's a cow farm. You've then got in the middle here on this a massive farm which is the top farm on the map that's your wine cellar you got a bakery there on that farm you've got a the water source there as well the uh, hostelry is actually somewhere that's like, quite a common place to sell quite a lot of your wares you've then got the pasta factory then up here we've got the wri train and the interchange so two places where you can actually dump, dump your or offload some of your um, wares so that's pretty good what I will do as well I think that's everything to be honest with you but I'm just going to point out a few things that are really impressive so if we go to the BGA which we'll go to this one 
So not a bad size BGA. Oh, here's the custom train going through. So that's really nice. You've got lots of different places and drop-offs so um, for different things. So things like your great production waste and your olive production waste can go in here as well. Um, you've also, around this corner, is where you've got your seed, lime, and debris crusher. All there, like as a little drop-off point on silos. You Then here you've got where you can uh, rent the train as well. So that's really good. Oh, tree there. Then, back to the map. Other ones that are pretty good, actually. If we go over here to the wine production plant, this is one of the other farms. You've got a wine production here, so you put your, your grapes and your olives in there. And then if you turn around, you've got your oil mill there as well. So if we... So that one's um, pretty much custom, apart from it does produce waste. And this one is where you can produce your wine. So you can actually put your red, your red grapes and your white grapes, and it will bring out cask wine and red wine. But you have to put barrels in as well. And then you also get uh, waste production from that that you can sell at the BGA. So that's pretty good. But just again, really impressive vineyards. Quite challenging sometimes though. I've actually worked on these vineyards quite a lot, and I've also worked on the vineyards at the top of the map. But um, I actually think they're really, really fun to work on, even though some people might call me absolutely mad about that. We have a quick look. So we then have this farm here. So I've got a bakery here actually. Uh, which is there, which is on the farm. And when you buy the farms on this map, it's got a really, really nice feature where I'll probably have to buy one of these. Um, each bit here, so this here and this building here and this building here, can, at the top there, you have a system where you can store your bales automatically. So you can bring it up to a trigger, you'll then convert them, and then it will then put an animation and start stacking up um the bales so this one i think is straw this side this one's hay no it's not the other way around this one's hay that's straw and they both can hold 500,000 liters so pretty impressive but you can buy the productions without having to buy any of the um, land that goes with it so it's like uh, that's pretty good so you don't have to buy the farm but again just yeah <laughs> This is a farm that I have actually done quite a bit of work for on my multiplayer game. And again, it's a really nice farm. The texturing is amazing. The features are, yeah, and just incredible because every farm on the map is completely different depending on how you play, your play styles, etc. It's just, yeah, incredible. This is your water fill point on your fountain. Again, very custom textures, really, really pretty. Um, I will say that one of the or a couple of the guys that I play with on a multiplayer game, they do use auto drive and course play. And this map does work pretty well if you get your routes all set up. So just something to know, because it's probably a map for some people who would play auto drive and course play on, especially running back things like to the water plant and to get water, etc. So just something to be aware of. So if we look anywhere else we think, uh, what have we got? Look at the rent train. This is the rent train trigger. How much is that? A thousand pounds an hour, so it's not too bad. Now uh, this is this is the custom crane that I believe is one of the mods as well that you need as a required mod. But again, texturing's brilliant. So we can actually I think this is the wood yard where you can load your wood onto the train. I think when the train turns up you can actually load up there so lots of nice customized buildings as well as you can see really mega amounts of time probably in blender that's gone into this map so yeah just incredible um, one thing I will do I think so I think that's pretty much everything to run through on the map itself I'll tell you what let's have a look at my favorite place on this map oh, made it so this is actually some switchback roads that go um, to the main shop and also to one of the main road but just if I don't fall off the actual side of the cliff oh can I jump up here I can oh save myself so instead of driving off the side of a cliff I've fallen off 
I haven't killed myself though, so that's a bonus. So the switchbacks are really impressive, um, really nicely done, um, especially the corners, like the contouring and the adverse camber as you're going up and around. Um, especially this one is quite fun when you're pulling a trailer. But just the view that you get from here is incredible. Um, I think one of the guys that I play with actually really likes the feature of the smoke that's obviously then stained the stone on that arch bridge there. So really impressive level of detail. I know that obviously there isn't a steam train on this map, but it just gives you the whole idea that this place or the region's been around for a long time. This it may have had steam railway before it had the, uh, the diesel electric that's probably running through it at the moment. But still, yeah, I mean, as you can tell, just the vista of this map is incredible. So I think what we'll finish with, because we've talked about an awful lot of features on this map, and I do apologise, we'll finish with the field prices and how much the places are to buy for your farm. So we're going to that. So like I say, we start on C. Let's say I want to build L, buy L. I think L is sheep. So that's 92,000. So not too bad. Some of the fields at the top of the map above here are slightly cheaper. So that one is uh, 37,000. That one's 106. That one's at 55. Yeah, that one's 70. And that one's 72. Now I know 43 has some vineyards in it as well. Because I've actually got this field and that field in my game. As you go this way, these are more flat. So these, these fields here with this farming G, which is... 2.34 million these fields are very flat apart from 54 and 53 because they're interesting grass fields but all here down here are flat 57 um, farmland um, actually encompasses a solar panel so it's a bit like a agro solar um, kind of system where you've got I think there's three banks of solar panels so you get the feed-in tariff off the solar panels plus whatever you can get off uh, the fields in regards to that most of the farms do have solar panels on them so you do get quite a high, um, high feed in every month from your farm that you then obviously can then use to like pay off a loan or just actually make money without having to do anything so that's a bit of a, a plus that you need to be aware of so this is all vineyards around here so that's why it's so expensive the vineyards run down here across here then this is the biggest farm on the map, which has the vineyards here, here and here, plus a massive arable field here. That's 5.1 million. You've got a very big meadow here and here. That's 218, that's 174. Got some slightly smaller fields around here, well, three or four that are all part of the same farmland. 211,000, 164, 158. That's pretty good. This farm here, 2.4 million but that comes with a little bit of land and also obviously all of the vineyards here and here so that's pretty good uh, some of the this farm here with a bakery that's 1.1 1 that's 1 million so that's pretty cheap actually it's not bad um, so that's quite a nice one to probably expand into now some of the other places so like N which is just I think it's horses there that's 88,000 um, then there's this one here, B, that's 19, 38, which got a big solid pit, that's uh, 77, so that's not too bad. M, which is a cow barn, plus this really big grass field, 829,000. So you've also got a little bit here, 73, it's a small area yard there, that's only 6,000. So you could probably expand into there and then start farming some of these fields here so that's pretty good i really do think it might be the best uh, farming simulator 22 map out there at the moment so hats off to edo mod um, i really hope you've enjoyed this special edition of uh Grain man travels and i'm hoping to do a few more in future um because i want to probably expand out into other maps that maybe not be on mod hub but are only for pc players so Hopefully you have liked it though. If you have enjoyed the video, give the video a like, subscribe to the Grain Man channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Many thanks.